GL DNA. Um, uh, the best day of my life started out just an ordinary day. I was nine months pregnant with my daughter. It was October 1st, 2003. And I was on moderate bed rest, which meant the doctor told me, you can't go to work. You pretty much have to just lay around, do nothing, and eat as much as you can and gain weight. And that has been the last four months of doing nothing at <laughs> the end of my pregnancy. So I just woke up, was like, okay, can't do anything today. And I was like, I'll get some breakfast, just relax, and shower. And towards the end of the morning, I told my husband, you know what, I'm going to take a nap, and you can make lunch when I wake up. So I laid down on the couch, watched some TV, fell asleep. And around 1 o'clock, I woke up, and I thought I'd pee my pants. So I started crying, and I'm like, I'm not going to spend the next three weeks of my life peeing my pants all the time. So I called my mom, and I said, you know, how do I make this stop? And my mom's like, are you sure your water didn't break? And I said, no, it's too early. The baby has three more weeks. There's no way this is my water. So my mom's like, please just call the doctor and make me feel better. So I called the doctor's office, and of course, he's gone for the day. So they tell me, go to the hospital. They'll let you know what's going on if you're in labor or not. So I take my sweet time, I get to the hour later, to the hospital an hour later, and my friend and my husband are laughing because my pants are soaking wet by this time standing in the elevator. So I go upstairs to the labor and delivery room, and the nurse says, well, it's early, let's see what's going on. So the nurse checks me and calls the doctor in, and the doctor says, well, you're three centimeters, your water's ruptured, you are definitely having a baby today. <laughs> And the doctor says, are you feeling anything? And I said, no. I said, I'm not in labor. What are you talking about? And the doctor said, your monitor is going crazy right now. You are contracting as you're talking to me, and you are completely clueless. You're in labor. <laughs> so I lay around the rest of the day, tell the rest of our family, take your time. The baby's not coming anytime soon. So my little brother comes to see me later in the day, and the doctor comes in and says, the doctor says, I'm, we're switching doctors. This is the night doctor. And he says, let's see what's going on, see where we're at. So they shut me, and I'm now five centimeters and not going anywhere very fast at all. So the doctor says, we'll come check with you later, find out what's going on. So my little brother's standing there, and all of a sudden, alarms start going off like crazy in this room in five minutes. <laughs> and we start freaking out. The nurse comes running in, shoves my brother to the corner, throws a curtain in front of him, says, don't move, don't do anything. And the nurse checks me, she goes, you just went to nine centimeters in five minutes, and that's the fastest I've ever seen this happen. <laughs> so she opens the curtain, and my brother's standing there with the most horrified look on his face. <laughs> and he says, I'm leaving. <laughs> so my little brother leaves, and an hour later, the doctor comes in, says, let's start pushing. I push for an hour and a half, and my daughter is going nowhere. So the doctor says, once again, we're back to waiting. <laughs> So finally, an hour or two hours later, my daughter's finally born. <laughs> she finally decides, you know, she's going to appear. And my daughter was 6 pounds, 7 ounces, and she was 18 and a half inches. And she is today almost 8 years old. And she is in third grade, and she was a pain in the butt back then, and she is still a pain in the butt to today. <laughs>